Okay, so um, we are working on section, whoops, not 10, that was the other class, 8, what, 4? Okay, and it's called, I don't want to scare you off, but I'll show you, trigonometry. Trigonometry. Okay, how about that? Don't you sound smart, taking trigonometry? Look, we're not doing a whole course on it, we're just going to do a couple lessons on trigonometry, or we shorten it just by saying what? Trig. trig. All right. So um, we just say we're learning a little bit of trig right here. Now, trigonometry has a lot to do with triangles and especially right triangles. Now, up to this point, we've learned a couple special triangles. We learned 45, 45, 90. We learned what else? 30, 60, 90, right? And we've also learned how to find a missing side if I gave you a couple sides. So if I gave you a couple sides, how would you find the missing side? What would you use? Is that it is. Look, if I gave you two sides of a right triangle, okay, if I gave you three and four, how would you find this right here? What would you use? What would you use? Give me a name. Pythagorean theorem, right. Pythagorean theorem, you would use this to solve for this. But watch. What if I didn't tell you that? What if I told you this angle right here? I don't know. Make something up. 23 degrees. Okay. All right, well, we're going to get into it. Okay, so look at this. Is there any way? Shh, is there any way with the knowledge you have right now that you could find either this side or this side right here? Yes. The stuff that I taught this year in this class. No. Okay. No, there's no way that you could find that. Not with the information I've given you so far, but today I'm going to I'm going to at least start giving you some information that you're going to be able to solve for this. Now there is one thing that you could solve that's missing here. What do you think that is? Right angle. The right angle? The missing angle, right. So what would that be? How would you find it? It is 67. How do you, how'd you find that? Just 90 minus 23, right. 90 minus 23, and that's 67. So you could find that. That still isn't going to help us find x and y, is it? Well, after this lesson, it will. Okay. Well, actually, you didn't even have to know this. Just knowing one side and one angle, you could actually... Um, solve for this stuff. Um, I'll tell you what. Yeah, we'll just keep it like that. I'll, I'll do a different triangle. So that's our goal. This is our goal, is to be able to solve for x and solve for y. All right. We probably won't be able to do this by the end of the class just because we're short, but that's all right. I plan to do this in two classes anyway. All right. So there we go. Let me do a little uh, background information first. Okay. Let's get a triangle up here. And I'm purposely not making it equilateral or isosceles or anything like that. So here's a right triangle. Let's say we're talking about this angle right here. We'll just call this angle A. All right. Um, what would I call this side right here? See the side I'm pointing at? The hypotenuse, right. So that's the hypotenuse. I'm just going to put HYP for hypotenuse. Now look, see this side right here? What's the word we would use to describe where it's located in reference to this angle? I would say this is the side that's what to this angle? This side right here? This would be opposite, wouldn't it? This would be opposite this angle right here. So I'm going to put OPP for opposite. Okay. Um, what about this side right here? Look at this side. This side is right next to this angle. See how this, how this angle attaches to this side right here? So what do we say that? Good, Abby. This is adjacent. Okay, here's the word. A D J A A C E N T. It's adjacent. It means next to. When I say adjacent, it means next to. All right. Um, now we just shorthand it. A D J. Is that all right? Okay. So that would be adjacent. You with me on that? Let's do this. Let's just copy and paste this. I'm going to get rid of a couple things here. Let's get rid of adjacent. Let's oh, keep hypotenuse where it is. Let's get rid of this angle. What if I talked about the other angle? Okay, not this one down the bottom. Let's do this different color here. Okay, what if I talked about this angle up here? We'll call this angle B. Is this still going to be adjacent and is still going to be opposite to angle B? No. What would this side down here on the bottom be if I'm talking about angle B? This would be the opposite this time. Does that make sense? All right, because it depend, all depends on which angle we're discussing. 
So on this one, I was discussing angle A, and I was like, okay, this side is opposite angle A. This is adjacent to angle A. This is still the hypotenuse. Why is this still the hypotenuse? Because it's opposite the what? The right angle, okay? The, the side that's opposite the right angle will always be the hypotenuse. It doesn't matter what angle we're talking about. So if this angle B is given, this is opposite to angle B. What's this side? What's this up and down side to angle B? Adjacent. It's adjacent. All right, you with me so far? We're getting somewhere with this, I promise you. Okay, At first, you're not going to see where it's all going, but it is going somewhere, I promise you. Okay, So it all depends what angle we're talking about. Now look, what we're going to talk about today in the next just couple minutes, they give you three kind of crazy words to describe the relationship between two sides of that triangle. So I've got opposite and hypotenuse. That would be one relationship. I've got opposite and adjacent. That would be another relationship. I've got adjacent and hypotenuse. That would be another relationship, another ratio, right? We just finished the chapter, didn't we, on ratios and stuff like that? So that would be another ratio. So I've got three of them. So one ratio deals with the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. But instead of saying, okay, this is the ratio of the opposite to the hypotenuse, instead of saying all that stuff, they give it a word. They give it one word, and then you need to know what that word represents. And that word is the sine. Okay, so the sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. It's just a word. I don't know where they got it from. It's just a word that describes the relationship between these two sides. Okay, so if I took the opposite over the hypotenuse, that's the sine of that angle. Okay, you have another one. You have adjacent well, students, please come to the office. over Andy hypotenuse. Thomas, Dean Wilson. Washington, the word we get for that Shola, is Ryan cosine. Williamson, Jada Canteen, Joe Robinson. There's another relationship. What are we missing? Collins, we got the opposite and the hypotenuse. got the adjacent and the hypotenuse. What's the other two? The opposite and the adjacent. adjacent. That's right. So I'm going to take the opposite and the adjacent. I'm going to compare them to each other. We have a word for that as well. We call that the tangent. Okay. What we're going to need to do is we're going to need to memorize these relationships. Now let me do this real quick. I only got a minute. Watch. The sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. The sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. The cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And the tangent is the opposite over the adjacent. Didn't they just talk? Joe Burton to the office as well. Now watch. I'm going to shorten this up a little bit. See where it's S-O-H? All right. We'd say, we just, well, I'll do this in a second. And then C-A-H and then T-O-A. These letters should mean something to you. What does that letter mean? It means the sign. What's the sign equal to? The opposite over the hypotenuse. The cosine is what? The adjacent over the hypotenuse, even though you don't see the over there. T is a tangent is equal to what? Opposite, talk to me, over adjacent. Now watch, real quick here. This is kind of a made-up word. It's just a way that you can remember what these relationships are. We call this so -ka toa We say so -ka toa so -ka toa Keep saying that to yourself over and over again. so -ka toa so -ka toa so -ka toa right? It's not sako It's so -ka toa It's Sakajuia's best friend. so -ka toa All right? So-ka-toa.